So you moved to Canada, got your Tim Hortons coffee, survived your first winter, and now it's the tax season and you need a CRA account? But how? Why is this so complicated? Don't worry. Okay. I'll show you exactly how to create your CRA My Account step by step without losing your mind. Let's do it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Maple at it for it. If you are new here, I make useful videos to help newcomers and international students survive and thrive in Canada. Today we are talking about something that is every newcomer's needs, creating a CRMI account. This account is super important because it lets you check your tax info, get refunds, apply for benefits and much more. But if you have ever tried signing it up, you know it's not that easy. The website is confusing, there are different sign-in options and if you have never filed your taxes before, well, good luck. But don't worry, I'll show you exactly how to do it, step by step, the right way without any confusion. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and let's get started. Before we create the account, let's discuss why you need it. What's so special about CRMI account? Well, there's a lot. First of all, access all your tax slips in one place. If you have ever lost T4 or T2202, no worries. With CRMI account, you can download all your tax slips, T4, T2202 and any other slips directly from your account. No more chasing employers or school for missing documents. Secondly, check your tax information anytime. You don't need to wait for letters from CRA. You can log in anytime to see your tax return status, notice of assessment and how much you owe or will get a refund. Third thing, get your tax refund faster. If you are expecting a tax refund, having a CRA account lets you set up direct deposit so you get your money much faster than waiting for a check. Number four, apply for benefits and credits. Many newcomers and students qualify for benefits like GST, HST credit or even Canada Carbon Rebate payment. So your CRA account helps you to track and apply for these easily. Number five, update your personal information. If you move to a new place, change to your direct deposit bank, you can update everything online instead of calling CRA and waiting on hold forever. CRA My Account is a must-have if you live in Canada and must deal with taxes, benefit or refunds. Now that you know why it's important, let's gather the documents before starting the registration process. Before we start, let's ensure you have everything ready. The CRA isn't messing around. If you take too long, your session will expire in 18 minutes. So let's get this right the first time. So here's what you will need. First of all, your social insurance number. Your SIN number is like your ID for anything tax related in Canada. Second, date of birth. Pretty straightforward. Just enter it exactly as it appears on your official documents. Number three is information from your most recent tax return. You must enter an amount from your last filed and assessed tax return. The return must be from last two years. If you have never filed taxes before, there is another method for residents of certain provinces which we will talk about in a bit. Now that you have your documents, it's time to pick how to log in. CRA gives you a few options and once you pick one, you must use the same option every time. Option number one is sign in partner using banking logins. If you have an online banking account with one of CRA's partner banks, you can use it to sign in. This is the easiest and fastest option no need to remember a new password. The second option is CRA user ID and password. This option lets you to create a CRA specific username and password. But keep in mind, you'll have to go through an extra verification step. Number three is provincial partner, which is available for only the residents of British Columbia and Alberta. BC residents can use their BC service card to register instantly and Alberta residents can use their alberta.ca account to sign in. Remember, you need to verify your identity as well. Even after you create your CRA account, you still need to verify your identity before you can use it. CRA gives you two ways to do this. First option is instant verification with ID and selfie. If you want to access your CRA My Account immediately, you can use the document verification service and here's how it works. You can use a mobile device to take a real-time selfie. 
submit a clear photo of your Canadian passport or driving license or provincial photo ID. If everything checks out, you will get instant access to your account. This is the fastest way to verify your account. The second way to verify your account is using CRA security code by mail. If you can't use document verification service that we talked earlier, CRA will mail you a security code instead. So this code will come in your mail and that can take up to 10 business days to arrive. CRA will send the code to the address they have on the file. Once you receive it, log in and enter the code before it expires to complete the verification. If your address is outdated, you might not receive the code. So make sure your address is correct before requesting your CRA code. Okay, let me give you some pro tip for free. Pro tip number one, you cannot use GC key for CRMI account. GC key works for other governmental services but not for CRMI account. Pro tip number two, if you haven't filed your taxes for the current or previous tax year, you won't be able to register using a CRA user ID or sign in partner. But if you live in British Columbia or Alberta, you can register using a provincial partner instead. Pro tip number three, what if you haven't received your CRA security code? You have waited 10 business days and there is still no security code in your mailbox. So what you can do is use the document verification service to verify your identity online or call CRA and request a new security code by mail. Pro tip number 4. What if your CRA security code has expired? If your CRA security code expires before you use it, don't get panic. You have two options. You can use the document verification service instead or you can log in and request a new security code to be sent by mail again. Alright, now let's get into the actual step-by-step -step process of creating your CRA My Account. I'm gonna talk about all three sign-in options. If you are ready, let's go. Open your browser and search for CRA My Account or click on the link in the description. Click on CRA sign in or register. Here you can see three options to sign in. First, let's use sign in partner option. If you do online banking in Canada, this method is probably the easiest way to register for your CRA My account. Here is how to do it. After you click sign in partner option, you can select your bank. You'll see a list of participating banks. Choose the one where you have an online banking account. After clicking your bank, Log in using your banking credentials. Enter your banking username and password, the same one that you use for your online banking, and click on sign in. Now CRA will ask your personal details, your social insurance number, date of birth, a tax amount from your recent tax return. If you haven't filed a tax return in previous two years, this option won't work for you. And after entering all these details, you need to verify your identity to get full access. As we talked earlier, to verify your identity, there are two options, instant verification by document and taking a selfie, and another is entering a code sent by CRA into your mail. Once you verify your ID, you can fully access your CRA My account. Now let's talk about the second option. The second option is using a CRA user ID and password. Choose CRA user ID and password. After clicking that, enter your social insurance number, your date of birth, and provide tax information for identity verification. CRA will ask for an amount from a line on your most recent tax return. For example, it says enter the amount from line 15000 from your 2023 or 2024 tax return. If you didn't file a return in last two years, you can register with a CRA ID. You have to try using provincial partner if it applies to you. Then after, you need to choose a unique user ID and create a strong password. Write it down somewhere safe. You'll need it every time when you log in. In next step, you have to set up security questions and answers. Sierra will ask you to create five security questions and answers for extra security. Pick answers you won't forget but are hard for others to guess. Next step is to verify your identity. Sierra will now ask you verify your identity before you can fully access the account. As we talked earlier, we have two options to verify your identity. One is instant verification using documents and another is by using CRA security code by mail. You can choose either of the options. If you choose to verify with instant verification, you can fully use the account after your verification or if you use to go with code, after entering the code in the website, you can fully access your CRA My Account. 
So now let's talk about option number three, registering for CRMI account using a provincial partner, that is BC Services Card or Alberta CA account. So if you live in British Columbia or Alberta, you can use provincial ID to instantly access your CRMI account. Here is how. Click on CRA sign in or register, choose provincial partner. Select your province, choose BC Services Card or Alberta CA account. Sign in using your provincial account. Enter your login details. If you don't have an account yet, you'll need to register and verify for one first on your provincial website. After that, CRA will ask you to verify your identity by entering your social insurance number. After you enter your social insurance number, you can use CRA My Account without waiting for a security code by mail. And boom, you did it. You just unlock the CRA secret portal. Finally, check your tax info without feeling lost. No more guessing when your tax refund is coming or calling CRA and listening to the elevator music for an hour. Your CRA My Account has everything you need. Before you disappear into the internet, smash that like button, send this video to a friend who is about to raise quit while signing up. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. Alright, that's a wrap. If CRA ever makes you feel like you are solving a mystery, just come back to this video. See you next time, stay safe, stay subscribed and check your CRA account for that huge refund.